that light that you are seeing on one of those little specks has been traveling for over 13 billion years. And by the way, we're going back further. An intriguing question has arisen since the James Webb Telescope began its operations. Could we have overlooked a fundamental truth about our universe for a long time? Theories, like the Big Bang and other principles of physics, have shaped our understanding of the universe, but recent discoveries are challenging such conceptions. The turning point has arrived, and now we must decide whether to completely revise our view of the cosmos and our own existence, or if the confused data are just observational errors. Let's embark together on a journey to the beginning of the cosmos and to the potential most significant errors of natural science, namely the galaxies at the beginning of time. All this only on Universal Narratives. New images from the James Webb Telescope may be changing everything, giving scientists a glimpse at what our universe looked like more than 13 billion years ago. In July 2023, ago. NASA released an unprecedented image of ancient galaxies. When scientists initially established the age of these primordial galaxies, they believed it to be literally impossible. According to current calculations, these galaxies are so ancient that they should not exist at the edges of the universe. The plausible explanation that emerged is that it may have happened that closer galaxies appeared as if they were very distant. Scientists from all over the world tested the results, and all came to the same conclusion. These galaxies are authentic and devoid of anomalies. Astronomers are now convinced that the light coming from these galaxies has traveled towards Earth for over 13.4 billion years, indicating that these galaxies were already present when the universe was less than 350 million years old, thus becoming a scientific problem. In addition to their age, these galaxies are massive, highly structured, and so star-dense that their brightness surpasses that of today's galaxies. However, at this stage of the universe, according to previous calculations, only initial prototypes of galaxies should exist. Scientists expected to find, in the new images from the James Webb Telescope, galaxies that were small and disorganized, or dark, or that provided other conclusions about the initial state of development. However, something similar is happening to when someone shows photos of a person when they were a child, and it is realized, from the photos of that period, that this person was already an adult. It would be shocking and it would seem like something is wrong. Probably, we would turn the photos over and check the date or, in the case of digital photographs, we would carefully check the shooting date. If everything was correct, we would find ourselves with a big question mark on our face. It's exactly what's happening to astronomers right now. Something is wrong with the astronomical and cosmological vision, and researchers still don't know what it is. The examination has just begun. Now you probably better understand how crucial it is to demonstrate that these galaxies actually represent the primordial universe and that the images and age determinations are real. If they are, it would be a miracle or simply a calculation error by the physicists who proposed old theories such as those of the Big Bang or even the expansion of the universe. Initially, researchers verified all the redshift values used by astronomers to measure extremely long distances in the cosmos. The light that has traveled billions of years has stretched its wavelength due to the expansion of the universe. The longer the light travels, the more it shifts towards the red part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This stretching of light is known as redshift. The higher the redshift value, the more distant are the objects that emitted the light and the older these objects are. In other words, redshift is a measure of distance in the cosmos, and the primordial galaxies have high redshifts. The best fixed telescopes in the world were linked in a unique project. They turned their gaze again towards the seemingly impossible galaxies and concluded that James Webb had correctly interpreted everything. Redshifts from 16 to 20z could be confirmed, and therefore the six galaxies are really ancient, as initially stated by scientists. Now the foundations of our cosmology are in the balance, and at the moment no one knows what the impact will be. We will just have to wait and see. The presence of these galaxies will probably push scholars to develop another telescope in the near future, which could look even further back in time than James Webb. However, it could also happen that Webb itself will bring further illuminations. The telescope has been operational for only a year, 
and its capabilities might not yet be fully explored. Even the Hubble telescope, considered obsolete for a long time, has performed one or two miracles in the cosmos, such as the discovery of Ural, the oldest single star ever mentioned. End of the Big Bang According to the Big Bang, the universe would have originated 13.8 billion years ago. Using the quantities known from physics and astronomy, researchers have reconstructed the evolution of the young universe from this initial event. The latest discoveries are now breaking with these ideas. Of course, in the cosmos, things do not necessarily have to be right just because they can be calculated. Mathematics and astrophysics are still far from being able to describe all phenomena. For example, Einstein was never able to mathematically reconstruct the existence of the entire cosmos. However, many of his computational predictions were consistent. For example, he knew about the existence of black holes only from mathematics and physics long before they were actually discovered. The Big Bang Theory was 100% consistent with the rather uncontroverted physical values of Einstein's theories of relativity. However, we still know too little about the universe to state with certainty that there are no other unknown quantities and phenomena. What makes this field particularly exciting are the aspects of dark matter, which have been barely explored so far, and the quantities of quantum mechanics. Events are seen by some researchers as an opportunity, while others are confused and reluctant to abandon old beliefs. They were too sure they were close to completing the puzzle, but now these six galaxies are opening a breach in the previous picture. There is still much to discover. The waves around the six impossible galaxies were just calming down when a NASA tweet again shook the conservative foundations of natural science. A cluster of galaxies with seven galaxies was found with a redshift of 7.9, indicating that the cluster existed only 650 million years after the Big Bang. For all the scientists who until then hoped that the new realizations could perhaps be attributed to an error, this was again a shock. Do you remember the photo that shows an adult at a time when they should have been a child? Now, a cluster of galaxies with a redshift of 7.9 would mean that you are looking at a wedding photo of a person you believed was still single. Everything you would see would confuse you even more. You would no longer trust your perception and the world. Galaxy clusters are aggregations of individual galaxies. The fact that such formations already existed 650 million years after the Big Bang once again shows that the cosmos had already surpassed its supposed infancy. What does all this now mean for our view of the world and cosmology? First of all, we must understand that the Big Bang theory has never been proven, even though many thought otherwise. The theory was mathematically elaborated, but it left some questions unanswered. It could not state with certainty why our universe was born, what was there before, whether the universe is finite or infinite, or what triggered the starting point. In essence, the Big Bang theory also violates another very important law of physics. The second law of thermodynamics states that in a closed system, disorder tends to increase. If the universe was born from an initially highly ordered state, as suggested by the Big Bang, it would seem to contradict this law, as it would require an evolution towards greater disorder. If the Big Bang theory proved to be wrong, it would not mean at all that all the physical quantities we are familiar with are wrong. Newton's law of gravity was not wrong when Einstein elaborated the equations of general and special relativity. Einstein's work simply extended Newton's discoveries, placing them in a broader cosmic context. Newton still assumed that objects like stars or planets were stuck in some kind of confined space and rotated on fixed positions. Even when Einstein was young, determinism still played a decisive role in the cosmological view. It was assumed that stars and planets were positioned on fixed positions in a rigid universe. Then it became clear that the cosmos is not only infinitely vast, but also almost infinitely dynamic. Everything is constantly in motion, Planets orbit around stars, stars move with their planets around the center of their galaxies, and galaxies travel at several thousand kilometers per second through a space or an entity of which we know very little. Anyone who understands that a little over 100 years ago determinism still played a decisive role in the cosmological view will also understand why researchers were almost certain at that time that there must be a beginning, and with it, 
probably also an end. So they calculated everything back to a beginning, and the idea of the Big Bang was born. Either this beginning never existed, and we must slowly accept a temporal infinity of the universe, or it lies much further back in time than we have so far supposed. New world views will emerge. Nobody knows yet when we will learn how our universe was really created, or what was there, before the moment we call the Big Bang. However, what is certain is that recent astronomical discoveries are pushing the scientific community to reconsider fundamental assumptions about the nature of the universe. The James Webb Telescope has proven to be an extraordinary tool in providing new details about the primordial galaxies, awakening questions about established theories. The possibility that such ancient and massive galaxies already existed in the early stages of the universe challenges our previous understandings. Hypotheses on galaxy formation and cosmological evolution must now be reviewed, as the images provided by the James Webb Telescope indicate a reality more complex than originally hypothesized. The recent discovery of a cluster of galaxies with a redshift of 7.9, indicating its existence only 650 million years after the supposed Big Bang, adds further complications to the picture. This fact challenges scientists' expectations and raises deep questions about the consistency of existing theories. The idea of a highly ordered universe initially, as suggested by the Big Bang, seems in conflict with the second law of thermodynamics, which suggests an increase in disorder in a closed system. The debate on the validity of the Big Bang is now open, and scientists are forced to confront the possibility that our understanding of the universe may need to be completely redefined. The infinite dynamism of the universe, the presence of dark matter, and the challenges of quantum mechanics add further layers of complexity to this scientific investigation. In summary, recent observations from the James Webb Telescope are shaking the foundations of existing cosmological theories. The future of our understanding of the universe is uncertain and scientists are engaged in a critical examination of our current knowledge. We are facing a crucial moment in the history of cosmology where ongoing research continues to challenge our established conceptions, paving the way for new and exciting visions of the cosmos and our existence.